Hey there, internet. Well, I was uh, browsing the old dub 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 and uh, found this thing, which I thought was pretty cool. It's on Practical Machinist. The post is titled, Interesting Cycloidal Drive. And when you look at it, it looks kind of interesting. It actually looks like this thing called the Galaxy Drive, which I found a while ago. But this was made like 60 years ago. So you can see there's uh, these funny shaped, kind of almost cycloidal tooth looking things. It's not a cycloidal drive necessarily. And then you've got these fingers and then you have a, a eccentric that pushes those fingers into engagement with the ring. So as the eccentric wobbles its way around, these fingers get pushed out and that's what actually uh, does the motion. So he actually made a couple videos and this is what it looks like, which I was watching that. I was like, wow, that's cool. Here's uh, input output ratio. I think it's 20 to one. And then here is what it looks like when he's got the output gear held in a vise. He's just spinning this part here. So I decided to make one. What I did is I took a picture just to get the general shape of the curve because my first try wasn't very good at all. So uh, I took a picture. I took a picture from the forum and uh, manipulated it a little bit, scaled it a little bit, and uh, I created this drawing. And the annulus gear is this. I've got a, a 16 uh, by 5 millimeter bearing that goes into this hole here. So that's the annulus. This has uh, 19 teeth, I believe. And then inside of that goes this little slot guide, and this is also the output of the gear. And then uh, I made a tooth, which is kind of out of position. But the tooth has a little detent in it for this retaining ring here. And the profile, uh, matches the profile. I, I, I kind of moved it over to line it up with everything else. And uh, believe it or not, it worked. So uh, let's take a look at how it works in motion. <laughs> 